So we just got out of we got out of the Outlander panel, which was really, really cool. Was really, really cool. Why is it? Raining? I don't know. But now it's raining, and my camera's good. That's all I need is my camera to break on this day. So we just got out of the Outlander panel at the Build Building, and it was really good, actually. Sam Hugan is even more gorgeous in person. Yes. Dang, he is wonderful. Oh my god. Because they were late for something, they weren't able to sign and take pictures. But that was like understandable. They felt really bad, and they still yeah. walked by everyone and waved they, they and were everything. still super nice to all the fans. And you yeah. can just tell that they, they yeah, said, they said hi hello. to everybody. They were so nice. They genuinely just love their fans. But okay, so what so, happened with the Dylan woman? <laughs> what happened was Dylan, Dylan, um, he snuck out the back and he didn't he meet left. fans. And didn't even tell the security guard. Nobody knew he left. I'm not sure if that's because like he had somewhere else to go, or if like they wouldn't let him. Because I know a lot of, a lot of times like the people that are like in charge of him with that stuff are like mean and stuff, and they don't really let him like. I don't think we can cross. We can't go. Yeah. We're not really sure what happened with Dylan. If it was like because they were pushing, it, they just didn't want him to stop, or if it was his choice. We're not sure. But we did get to see the interview with him, see him in person, which, was which was really cool, honestly. Yeah, it was amazing. We didn't even expect to ever see him yeah. in person like that. So it, it, it's it's so a dream really come really cool. true to even be in the same room as him. It so was that so, was, we were so close. Yeah, that was enough for me. Yeah, it was just... I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> we are currently on the way to the red carpet screening thing. That We're gonna try. Yeah, the that. word on the street on Twitter, Twitter literally. is that there is this, this screening for American yeah. Assassin, and we're not sure. We don't know anything about it, but we're yeah. walking like an hour to get there. Yeah. So, so I hope we're gonna try. I hope that we, we have some better luck. We there. might be like sure, we might be walking to like an abandoned building right now, but <laughs> I mean, the GPS. Yeah, hopefully. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Is that guy laughing? Is that guy laughing because yeah, he's vlogging? He, he, yeah. Oh, alright. Anyway, so yeah, hopefully we'll have better luck there and maybe Anna we'll Maria, see again. Anna Marie got to see Sam Hugan and Kat, and you have not watched Outlander. No. Not one clip or video, nothing. You guys no, what did you think? As they were nice. to it. They make me want to watch the show. They're sweet. Are you going to watch yeah. the show? We'll see. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Yes, I will. Okay, I will. In all seriousness, I definitely will. They were super, super nice, and they, I don't know what happened because I really didn't understand it. That's good. Because but there was a lot of spoilers discussed. Yeah, no, I didn't understand like half the stuff they were talking about. Anna Maria, are you okay? I sped up. So not that hard. We walked a really long time, like an hour, to see to get to the premiere area. We are currently in front of the. Epic Theater, which is what the American Assassin's account tweeted about. Nobody knows where anybody Nobody is. Nobody knows where everybody is. Like, it's... Or we're, where we should go. Or where we should go. Everybody's clueless. Apparently, there's like four other events around here. Apparently. And whoever runs the Twitter account... I don't know. He's not answering our tweets. We have no idea. We just wanted to try and meet him and, like, see him go in one more time. Like... Yeah. I don't want to see him go in one more time. I, I want to like, stop and I take wanna, pictures. I yeah. would like to get a picture, yeah. But I don't know so, if that's gonna happen. I don't know, right now it looks pretty abandoned. Yeah, so. we met some Teen Wolf fans. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the group. This is just this we're the sitting group. on the floor. We've circled this building at least like four times, three times. And it's been raining, it's been raining all day. And it's been raining. It's and it's really cold. <laughs> and I'm really, really hungry. And we're hungry. But it's all for Dylan. And I think we're sitting on like puddles, like it's very wet. <laughs> I hope he stops and we see Dylan. Yeah. Oh, they won't let us into the premiere for sure. There's no tickets available, so that's not happening. So but we went in the theater and we saw the American Assassin, like the red carpet. Yeah, it looks really cool. cool. Private. Very, very like not for fans. We're really so grateful that we invited. we're very very grateful that we got to see like Sam Hugan. We got to see Outlander. We're really really happy about that. And we got to see Dylan in general. Just seeing him was just absolutely amazing. But we just would really like to get a picture <laughs> yeah. and get him to sign something like maybe. And 
We'll say. about meeting him is 100% true. So true. He, he was really, really nice. Was he was really, really, he came, so he first he came up and right away he just comes up and he looks, he looks really happy and he says, he, he comes up so casually though. He came up and was like, hey, hey guys, you want me to like sign and take pictures? Yeah, like, like so just chill. So chill. And, and we're it's just like, yeah, we've just been waiting here for four hours yeah. in the rain, like we literally starving, shivered. tired. We, we, we were shivering. It was intense, guys. Like, we didn't know where he was going to be coming in. We didn't know anything about mm -hmm. this place. Like, it was, we had no clue. So, yeah, we, we were just shivering because mm -hmm. it was raining. We had our umbrellas out. It was really cold, like really windy. Yeah. We had like we basically on. and Maria looked my sister's wearing like a romper. We literally had it was literally like four hours in the freezing rain and we were it huddling was. together with like two umbrellas, the five of us. And yeah, it was us three and then our two friends that we made. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, but when oh my gosh, that moment when he finally came up and he was just he was just really sweet and so and when he hugs you like when he when, when he, he like takes, takes a picture, picture he rubs you put like your hair. you put like your arm around him and then once you finish your picture he rubs your back. And like I wasn't ready for that. I didn't I him. kept telling I don't him. think I anticipated touching him. I thought it was gonna be a quick thing, like like just take I don't the picture. even know if I touched him. I think I touched him. No, I remember very vividly when before I took the picture, I'm very vividly I'm putting my arm around him, I thought. So I'm like, alright, I'm doing that. So like I literally like put my arm around him and I was like, I definitely have to like touch him like that. <laughs> I think I did, I don't know. It was just I like what I don't know. I'm like I'm shaking. Like he had to like take the marker and like sign my book. Yeah, he was really sweet. Like, he, was he really saw that nice. all of us were like nervous meeting him yeah, and he knew we were nervous and he tried to calm us down yeah, he, like, Well, he took the pictures like he, he took, took yeah, I was like I'm shaking you have to take it and he was like that's okay Yeah, like he was really and sweet about being like taking the he picture. He was really nice like I told him I was like congratulations Like we really like, everybody was freaking out about his first her first pitch that he did for the mm -hmm. med lab yesterday We know that was a really big deal for him. You're like, oh my god. It was so good. I was like even though they lost he was there like, was yeah. honestly I was like, even though the Mets lost, he was like, yeah, it's okay. I was like, yeah, I mean, last season was better. And he was like, he was like, yeah. He just we honestly wanted to keep talking to him, like, forever. But um, he was really comfortable, actually. Like, he was like, and let me tell you. He he was very calm. But when like, Dylan O'Brien talks like, to you, he, he looks into your eyes. Like, it was like I was staring. Oh, yeah, I was like hypnotized. I put pictures on Twitter. He and looks directly he at looks you. into your soul. I was very and it's very it's a surreal, it's like an it's out of body. Very experience. surreal. You feel like you're underwater or something. When you're it's looking so at him. surreal. And he was just really And nice. then he I was freaked like, out because after we met him and like we talked to him, we didn't have enough time to add, like obviously like say everything we wanted to say. Like we didn't get get a chance to say anything about Stidia. No. Because we thought it was more important just to tell him that we were proud we of him, him and that we were excited we were to see the movie. I and told him I was like, I was like, I followed your career. Teen I'm so yeah. proud of you and I was like um, we make Teen Wolf videos mm -hmm. like we make Teen Wolf videos and you're just yeah you're really I'm really proud of you and I'm really excited for all that's to come for you and he was just like thank you so much and you could tell he really really appreciated it. appreciates it and it means a lot mm -hmm. to him like he's a really nice guy and out of all of the ways to meet him he had a suit he had yeah. a suit Dylan had a freaking a suit black on black suit like, it was, it was a dream come true. It, it was really, it, it was really very, was. I'm still shaking, honestly, and I don't think and I'm ever going to get made, over this. It made all the work, the yeah, waiting and the We rain, waited for so it, long. It made it like, really Like, our day was really, we didn't think we were going to meet him at all, honestly. We did the, um. We were losing hope because 
I, I felt like we just kept like just waiting there well and no nothing, both, nobody knew anything nobody knew anything guards. and we were waiting there for so long like hours and hours and hours and it was raining and it was just we just didn't know so after he left at the build we didn't think we were gonna see him at all after that so we were really we just feel really lucky that we had heard about the premiere of the american assassin so just knowing that that american assassins was having that was just really gave us the opportunity yeah. to go there and i'm just so grateful honestly and i cannot wait for the movie and i'm so happy and <sighs> It's honestly, I think I'm still in shock. I'm as well. still in like, so, so much like, shock. I feel like we're so calm talking about this because I'm like, just we were so, when we left and no, we couldn't walk. We couldn't we, walk. I was, I was shaking. Yeah, like when like, we left, there were it was tears. Just like, oh my gosh! And then we were very overwhelmed. We came to the conclusion that like <laughs> I really shook myself after I thought about this, but um. We met him in a suit, and that's what he would look like when he marries Lydia, because he's wearing a suit. So like, I'm so glad I didn't think about that when I was he was in front of me, because I might have started crying. I got very like, I was bad. I was just starstruck. Like I was shaking, and I feel like I was gawking at him and kind of like I know, just, like looking at you him. You know, like, it was really funny basement. though, because all of us there was a group of five of us, and we were all there, like just like kind of like staring at him at some point, and then he was like, so like. You think you guys can maybe like move over a little bit so I can get the people behind you? And we were just like, oh, <laughs> we were like, my, oh my god, god I'm, I'm so, so sorry. sorry. And he was like, no, 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 it's okay. Like he was really nice. Like, yeah, he was he's really a really sweet. nice person. He really is. And I'm telling you, we after he ran out, we didn't know. We were like, why? Why did he? Why? And I think that that was because there was too many people there. I think that's the impression that I got. Like, our day was. Really, it was an adventure for sure. But Nothing seeing gonna, Dylan in the in my wedding, morning, my wedding day is not going. Seeing to Dylan there. in the morning, and then after that, we got to see Outlander. We got to see Sam Hugan, which we can show you some footage of that now. Yeah, that's good. I mean, obviously, the end of season one was huge. It was a very intense period, kind of period, but it was um, you know amazing to be given the chance to go so go to these dark places. But I, um, this season, uh, you know. Maybe isn't as dark, but it certainly gave us a lot of acting challenges, and uh, that's what the great joy of the show. I think that we, we do get given these wonderful pieces of theatre or drama. Thank you. Thank you. Some music. Oh, right. Thank you guys. Oh my God. Get it ready. He's just leaving. <laughs> They said they're late. <laughs> For what? They're always in a rush. Let's run with this. So we got to see Sam Hewitt yeah, and Sam and Kat were so good. Unfortunately, they didn't stop. It was raining pretty bad. They did stop on the way in, but we were already yeah. in the building. Um, so they did sign for a lot of fans, which is really, really yeah. nice of them. And they seemed really, really grateful. Yeah. And it was raining, so that does a lot. Yeah, our friend them. Cynthia actually got stopped. her book signed by yeah. Kat. Like, well, that yeah. Was on the way out. Out. So like yeah, but, on the way out. Yeah, on the yeah. way out, they were they had somewhere else to go, so they just kind of left. But they did say hello. But, and and like, Sam felt really bad. Yeah. Like I, we were saying, to him, he, he was like, I'm so sorry, I have to leave. Bye guys, thank you. Like he was really yeah, nice. They were, like, really, they were really nice. They were, it was yeah. a cool interview. It was so. really cool. Yeah, we really like love Outlander, so it was really good. <laughs> and then after that was our Dylan O'Brien adventure. We literally, guys, when I say we walked, like we, we walked, walked like an hour. Like over an hour to get to, to, the, get the, to the theater. And right? and I had like no, no idea what was going to happen. We had no idea because nobody was telling us anything. The security guards, if you guys have ever like waited outside for something, they don't tell you information even though they know it. They'll just be like, oh, I don't know. But yeah, we're so, so grateful that we were able to so, go in so and grateful. see him getting interviewed and then meet I'm him. Like, it was just, I... I like it was I'm just I, so I feel like shocked. I'm still in shock. City of fan fiction will never be the same. Yeah, we got the book signed by him. Him and, and Taylor. By Taylor. He was nice too, but nothing will beat Dylan O'Brien. So that's Taylor and then Dylan's on the top. Can you believe? I'm so shook, honestly. I cannot even guys like I literally, if you guys when have you take a picture with Dylan, like you lean in and you're like laying on his Yeah, no. I, I literally was, like, like so I made sure it. I was like, like, hello, like my love. No. If you guys ever have the opportunity to go see him, if he's around you, go do it no matter what. Even if you don't know if he's gonna go if even if you're just gonna see him go into a building. 
do it. Like, go see because it. Because you honestly never know. Like, you never know. With, the, with these kinds of things, it's like an in the moment thing. Like, you don't know what's going to happen. It is very in the moment. Blessed. It's very spontaneous. You don't yeah. know what. It, like, you have to have a lot of patience. You have to just really, like, be. You just have to just stay put and, like, not give up, honestly. <laughs> really. Anna Maria, what was your experience meeting Dylan O'Brien? He was a sweetheart. What did he say to you? Tell everybody about what happened with Dylan O'Brien. Uh, I asked him to sign my phone. She got her phone case signed. Yeah. I didn't have a book or anything, so I asked him to sign my phone. He did just that. I don't wish I got my phone case signed. <laughs> That's a good idea. Right? I was just like, yeah, I came to my phone case, and then he was like, of course, and I said, you're so talented and so fun to watch, and just thank you so much for all the work you do, and like it's amazing, and thank you so much. And then he was like, oh my god, that's so sweet. You have no idea, like that means so much to me. And he said thank you, and then I asked for a hug. Or no, I think that was the first thing I did. Yeah, the first thing I did was ask for a hug. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, can I hug you? And then he's just like, of course. He gave a good hug, and, right? Yeah, he hugs you tight. It was really cool. Uh -huh. And like he rubs your back a little bit, and then I asked him, I was like, can we get a picture? He's just like, of course. It's our day with Dylan O'Brien, and we are going to sleep with such big smiles on our face. And if you want to see more pictures of Dylan that we took, you can check them out on our Twitter. We are at City of the Field. And that's also our Snapchat. <laughs> yep. And a huge shout out to our friends, Ashley and Anissa. They were texting us about this and told us about the event. And Thank you so much, guys. So thank You're the you best. so much. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. Thank, thank you, you for watching. Bye.